What's going on everyone, Josh Goodwin here. I'm gonna walk you through my new plugin, Magic Flow. I'm pulling up a session uh, from All Day called God Complex, which I've mixed on stream. So those that have watched it are familiar with this song. I'm gonna do the full production version of this one. Since these are my mixed stems, I'm gonna first put this plugin on my master bus and kind of treat it as a mastering plugin to start with. Um, and then I'll break it down and, and move on to the vocal because originally we made this as a vocal plugin, but it turns out that you can use this thing on any, any sound source. The plugin is, is not a channel strip, but it is a lot of plugins um, stacked on, on another, kind of in the way that I would um, approach um, any kind of sound source in my mix sessions. Some of the stuff you could use on everything, some of the stuff you might not want to use on everything, um, but it's very flexible and you have the choices to do however much or whatever you need to do. So the first thing we'll talk about here is our filter section. And the more I mix, the more I, I use filters and the more I find them useful and handy. And um, our low cuts and our high cuts, 20 to 300 um, and seven and a half to 20. And these all have like custom curves on there. They're not just generic curves. They're all curves that I've like spent time dialing in and trying to get to the point where I like hearing them sonically and they do something for me. And so if you don't know, the way to use a filter is you listen and you just start peeling away and you'll find a point where you go too far and then you just peel back a little bit. Um, that's just the way I use them. Uh, so let's see here, let's zoom in out here, go here to the chorus. I've been sober, it's like a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start with my low cut I'm gonna peel all the way up and then peel all the way back. And let's just have a listen to see what it does there. Yeah, so this being on the master bus, I really don't wanna peel out any low end because um, I already put all the low-end that I want in there. Um, if anything, I might want to add some low-end. So I'm going to leave my low-cut filter down uh, for this purpose. Um, let's move to the high-cut, though. I've been sober. It's like a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. So a cool approach on the high-cut is to listen uh, to the sound source that has the highest frequency content in your mix. Um, in this case, it's the hi-hats, it's uh, Greg's vocal. Let me listen one more time just to make sure I'm not saying anything wrong. I've been sober, it's like a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. Yeah, and it's that distorted hat that's like So, a good rule of thumb here is to start peeling away until you lose your high-end information and start peeling back to where you're not missing it anymore. And there should be a gap in between the very high frequencies and to where it's sitting, which is usually okay to do. Um, I've been sober. So I'm gonna set this real quick. I've been sober. It's like a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high, you couldn't recognize my face. I'll leave it, I'll leave it there for now. Um, that's sitting at like, what, 17.2-ish. But again, I put all the high end that I want into this mix and sometimes put a little bit too much. And you know, when you give this off to mastering engineers, they're able to pull it back a little bit. Um, but since I'm mastering this uh, stem session here, I'll treat it as such. The next thing we got in here is our peak leveler. And this is based on an optical compressor with some EQ before and after. And it's a very smooth compressor and it's made to just level out your information. Um, it's not an aggressive compressor, it's not for effect, it's literally to, to do what it's supposed to do and that's to level out information. Um, so let's take a listen um, and see where, it, see where we get with it. Another thing is, since this is mixed stems and everything has been printed with a lot of compression, I might not want to go as heavy as I normally would on a sound source, sound source that's not overly compressed, um, but We'll, we'll be able to catch a vibe off this. I've been sober. It's like a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I 
glass so high you couldn't recognize my face What the fuck was you doing my shows one last one day in my place Don't you know I got a god complex Don't even know God So even a little bit of peak reduction on here I think my, I'm gonna cut my uh, Avocet. I'm gonna cu cut my Avocet again. Um, and it's really showing an average peak of maybe a quarter decibel of gain reduction. But even a quarter decibel of gain reduction brings up everything a tiny little bit, um, which is something that I enjoy doing with compression. I just like opening things up a little bit, a little bit, and a little bit until they're open properly uh, for me. So let's have a listen again. I personally like everything that it's doing right now, and I'd leave it. If I gotta change it later, I will. Um, we're just going down the line here, moving towards our dynamic EQ section. And this is based on multi-band presets that I like using on all of my mixes. Um, I have a lot of different presets that I save, and sometimes I just switch and switch until I like it. So the theory behind the way I incorporated this section here is I have four modes, and I like to turn it up, and listen to each mode, hear what it's doing, and I just break it down multiple choice. I'm already gonna like one or two modes over the other two, um, and so those are the two modes that I would stick with to dial in. The other two modes I would just not use for this um, example here. So let's listen to see what they do. I've been sober, just like a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. So how you couldn't recognize my face What the fuck was you doing my shows One last one day in my place Don't you know I got a god complex Okay, my ear automatically is drawn to D um, And D is a, a preset that is not taking out much low end um, And not taking out things that I wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily want to take out on a master Or mixed stems um, and so D to me is is the one that complements this production, this mix the best. I've been sober, just like a whole new world, yeah. Forty days, forty nights, I was fake, trying to go to hell, and I almost made it. And this actually like brings out everything a little bit more too, um, and lifts things up a little bit in the in the proper way that I like. Um, so I'm gonna rock with D. Um, filters, peak leveling, dynamic EQ. All right, so the next section we got here is our dynamic resonance controller. And this is a little cool tool that, you know, you listen to your mix, you listen to the vocal, whatever sound source you have this plugin on, just listen. And listen for things you like, listen for things you don't like. Um, with, this, with this example, we're gonna listen to things we don't like in the mix. And no mix is perfect, uh, no production is perfect. I mean, there might be a couple of perfect mixes, but for the most part, no mix is perfect. Um, and there's always things to change. And luckily we have mastering engineers that get to listen with a fresh perspective and assist um, us mixers in helping us fix the things that we forgot to fix or that we didn't know to fix. I've been sober. It's like, oh, 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. And I find myself always trying to take a little more high end out as the mix goes on because everything gets open and brighter and bigger. Um, but also when things get bigger and brighter, things get a little more harsh uh, towards the end sometimes. Um, so I'm just going to really um, tame this high frequency. You can hear with the listen circuit, uh, this little high frequency section here. Just... 40 days, 40 nights, I was Trying to go to hell and I almost made it And I got so high you couldn't recognize my face What the fuck was you doing my shows one last one day? I already like it. Um, uh, let's keep listening. There's four different sections here. This bottom section is basically a de where it's going to bring down a lot. Um, this is more of a fine-tuned um, area that's controlled. Um, so let's listen so again. Like a world, yeah. 
maybe like the very bottom of Greg's vocal. Between like 109 and 200 ish. You gotta be careful and not take too much off of it because you're dealing with the mix here, right? Um, so if you're peeling out too much 100 or 200 or 300 hertz in your mix, it could be doing bad things. Um, it could be also be doing the right thing. So all I'm saying is just make sure you're taking out the right frequencies. Um, but that also comes with experience and ear. I've been sober. It's like a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. So just ripping through five sections on this, um, this box already, the mix to me sounds better, more dialed in, and more finished. I've been sober. It's like a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I'm digging it. Um, I'm not even gonna access or utilize the bottom two sections on, on this uh, DRC section. They're here if we need it later on. Um, and sometimes you do come back and need to fix things down the line. Um, so let's move on to our dynamics balance. And we have two modes here, um, A and B. A has a lower ratio, B has a higher ratio. And so it's just one of those things where you turn it up and you listen and see which one you like better and then turn it down a little bit. I've been sober. It's like a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high you couldn't recognize my face. What the fuck was you doing? My show was one last one day in my place. Don't you know I got a guy come? So even real life, saying like our average peak here is like a half decibel, you can even go less. And once the mix, once the plug is fully dialed in, and we're like pulling back some of these, um, some of these uh, processing points, it could work really well. So let's stick with uh, like a half decibel of reduction on these peaks here. I've been sober. Okay, cool. Next, um, next section is our EQ. Um, and this is based off of the Elijah, the Elijah, the music EQ, however you pronounce it, I'm not fully sure. Um, and I have four EQ points. One, two, three, four, and the gain. So the way I like to do it is I like to turn it up all the way. And right now it's a little more than 2 dB. And just listen. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high you couldn't recognize my face. What the fuck was you doing? My show was one last one day in my place. Don't you know I got a guy come? So one in four to me complements the production, the mix better. So I'm going to listen to one in four, figure out which one I like the best, and then turn it down. Where I could only hear it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna rock with one on this one. Um, I was almost went with four, but I don't know, one sounds a little like a whole new world, yeah. Forty days, forty nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high you couldn't recognize my face. What the fuck was you doing? My show was one last one does something a little more for me to the vocal. We're gonna stick with that for a minute. Once I mess with this mid bump and our preamp to see um, if we're gonna go there, I might have to switch it, but for now, we're gonna rock with this. Like a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell. And then over here, we got the preamp, which is um, kind of uh, a saturator, a little bit of compression, very, very minor EQ. And sometimes when your mix is very close and you're done, you don't wanna add extra, extra compression at the end. Um, so, I'm saying that only for the reason being that you might not want more compression on the box. And so 
Let's listen. If the compression doesn't bother and it complements the mix, I would say keep it on. Um, if you do hear audible compression, maybe take it off. Um, but let's listen. Go home, no well, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high, you couldn't recognize my face. What the fuck was you doing? My shows one last one day in my place. Don't you know I got a god complex? Okay, I like it. Um, well, let's keep the preamp in here um, and move on to our mid bump. And the mid bump is one of those things where, you know, you do a lot of mixing, you get a lot of revisions. Um, some of the revisions are subtle, some are a lot, but um, a common revision is a little more in your face, a little more mid range, and a little more forward. So this mid bump is essentially a mix revision um, that if you're hearing that, or you need that, or you want that kind of thing, you just engage the mid bump and have a listen. Um, so let's see what it does. Take a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. See, I like the mid bump. Like, it's just, it lifts everything up in, in a nice way for me. Um, I'm gonna turn it up and listen again. Take a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high, you couldn't recognize my face. That would be my approach to use this as a mastering box. To me, it does a lot. It brings a lot of characteristics out in the mix that I like, and I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep the setting. So we're gonna move on to uh, a vocal sound source uh, with the Magic Flow. And I wanna give a shout out to Studio DMI and Acoustica for working this plugin out with me. Um, Francesco, I've been back and forth with Francesco for a long time trying to fine tune little things. Um, to make sure that like it's hitting a standard that I think is good enough to put out there. Um, and I think we achieved it. So a uh, quick shout out to those guys. And, you know, it was a good team right there. Okay, before we move on to the vocal, um, I'm going to take uh, Magic Flow off the mix and copy it up to the vocal track. And go to a basically zeroed out version of here. Let me redo this. Okay. And um, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to beat uh, the processing on the vocal and try to make it sit better than the mix. So let's have a listen. Seven days I've been sober. It's like a whole new world, yeah. She fell in love with the mess I created. I could flood the world with the tears that she gave me. Then I got so high that it made me lose my faith. What the fuck would you do in my shoes when last one day? Um, I just I'm gonna say this just to to get it out there. Brightness in vocals is not going down uh, for the most part, and you know a lot of a lot of about mixing what we do is trying to tame those frequencies. Um, so I kept a lot of the high end on the vocal, but after hearing it, you know, months later, I'm gonna try to peel back some of that high end and see if I can not make that sit better in the mix um, and allocate that high end to um, the more rhythmic uh, assets that we have in the session here. Take a whole new world, yeah. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high, you couldn't make the night. Yeah, and you know, with this dynamic resonance controller section, you can really solo out and hear what you're doing in the mix and what should come out, what you know, what doesn't need to come out. So I'm gonna peel back a little bit of this this high end. Uh, another thing, on a vocal that's already compressed, um, sometimes it's okay to compress more, other times it's not, but you really want to hear um, the difference between the two. 
Sometimes compression can break out a lot of the sibilance, which you can see here. Um, and some of the, the attacks on these vocals, which you can see here. Um, so as long as it's not bringing more of that out, it's not usually a problem. And we've already gone in here and tamed a lot of this stuff. So I'm thinking that it's gonna be all right, but let's just check it. And I got so high that it made me lose my faith. What the fuck was you doing? My shoes wouldn't last one day on my place. Don't you know I got a God complex? Don't even know God. And Greg already sounds so dope on this too. It's like, like I'm, I'm just fine tuning things here that I've already tuned. Um, not like really tuned, but like dialed in is what I'm saying. Let's move on to the dynamic EQ. Um, so multiband, we know some people love it. We know some people hate it. I personally love it when it's done right. And with already a compressed vocal and EQ vocal, a little bit of multiband could help it out too. So let's check it out. What the fuck was you doing? My shoes wouldn't last one day on my place. Don't you know I got a God complex? I already like what it's doing here. Um, by doing so, it's also bringing a little bit more high end that I don't want. So I'm going to go back to my dynamic resonant control and just dial this in a little bit. And let's just have a listen. A lot of nice vocal stuff in here too. That just like sits real low in this track. Tasty things like that. Um, shout out all day. Seven days I've been sober. I'm just doing a lot of listening here. Uh, I'm very attached to the original vocal, but um, you kind of got to take yourself back from the attachment when you're a professional and, and really figure out like what it needs and what it doesn't need. Um, so I'm, I'm just listening as, I'm basically like listening as someone that's judging everything and trying to fix it or, you know, solidify it. And if you see me just playing back a lot, I'm doing that to listen. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. So just listening to this section of the vocal, without this plugin, I hear... 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell. It kind of sounds more filtered in a way and, and less EQ'd. And just putting this on gives me that nice roundness that I like. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. It kind of cleans that vocal up for me. Um, moving on to the dynamic balance section, I'm gonna just see what it sounds like with the compressor on top of all that stuff. I'm not sure I want it on there, but again, we don't know until we try it. So let's give it a let's give it a whirl. Forty days, forty nights, I was fake, trying to go to hell, and I almost made it. And I got so high you couldn't recognize my face. What the fuck was you doing? My shows one last one day in my place. Don't you know? I'm just gonna keep it low. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high you couldn't recognize my face. What the fuck was you doing my shows one last one day in my... Um, we already talked about the EQ. I like turning it up and listening to my options here. One, two, three, four. Um, you can see the curves on the display. 
But in this case, I'm gonna go with the three setting and just ever so slightly. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high, you couldn't recognize my face. I like that. Um, and the last two things, I'm gonna listen to the preamp, listen to the mid bump, see if we need it, um, and make some final adjustments on the plugin. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high, you couldn't recognize my face. What the fuck was you doing my shows? One last one day in my place. Don't you know I got a god complex? Don't even know God. We all got a god complex. Don't even know God. Uh, so I'm not gonna use the preamp on the vocal. I'm not gonna use the mid bump on the vocal. I did use both on the uh, the master fader, or the master bus. In this case, I don't think I need it. Um, let's check what Superb does. Days, nights, I was fade, trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high you couldn't recognize my face. What the fuck was you doing my shows? One last one day in my place, don't you know I got... It kind of opens up the fidelity on the high end. And again, that's something that you might not want or you might not need. So don't just throw on Superb just because you think it's going to make it better. Because when you bring Fidelity into high end, sometimes it might bring it out too much. So just keep in mind that instead of setting things, just like listen to why you're setting it and try to try to set it for the right reasons. Um, let me go ahead and save this as my Z setting for all day vocal. One, because the more the more stuff I'm gonna mix with Greg, the more different presets I'm gonna save. Because some songs work better with different presets, and some songs don't. So, you know, when I'm eight songs in on an album or whatever, you know, I have all these presets dialed into the point where I could switch and move things around quickly um, to where it best suits that part. Uh, save. Okay, so now we got the vocal dialed in um, with the Magic Flow. Let's move back to the Master Bus and see if we still like it or see if we hate it or see if it's working or if it's not working. You know, these are all things that you got to make real, real-time decisions on. Days, nights, I was fade, trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high, you couldn't recognize my face. What the fuck? So just off that, that listen right there, it's just like getting something back mastered not mastered getting something back mixed not mixed i personally like the way it's working this mix 40 days 40 nights i was fake trying to go to hell and i almost made it kind of goes from sounding like i got so high you couldn't recognize my face what the fuck was kind of goes from sounding low fidelity to high fidelity even though it's my mix and i'm saying that um i think it's working very well and i'm gonna keep it Let's check this quality real quick. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost made it. And I got so high you couldn't recognize my face. Yeah, we'll go with Superb on this too. You could you could hear that. You could definitely hear the difference in the high end um, when you go up. And again, like that's, that might not be something that you want to do, um, but it's something that you should check and make sure that, that you know, you're doing the right thing here. 40 days, 40 nights, I was fake. Trying to go to hell and I almost all right, so we went over master bus applications. We went over lead vocal approach. You know, we can go over other things, but you kind of get the idea of, of how to dial this thing in. Um, I just go section by section. If it needs filters, I filter. If it needs a little bit of peak level, and I peak level. If we need dynamic EQ, throw it on there. If you need to take out frequencies you don't like, use that dynamic resonance controller. If you need a little finishing compressor for some dynamic balance, you got it right here. And then the EQ at the end is overall lift. So that's here, and that's the magic flow. Hope you enjoy.